78-year-old Kathy Hagen is anxious for her COVID vaccine. Oh, yeah, I want to get traveling again. I want to get out, and everybody's going to have to have a vaccination passport, I think, so I want at least one stamp in it. She waited four hours on the phone to book her 84-year-old husband's first COVID vaccine. Then her age group qualified on Monday, and she was waiting online when the portal opened in the morning. And I was um, over... Oh, 200,000 in line to register. And that's what it said. It said number in line was 201946. <gasps> Took 45 minutes, which was pretty quick compared to the phone line before. When I got in there, it went smoothly until we had to get the second appointment. And then it would just wouldn't move. She eventually was able to book for Sunday, but her friends reported getting repeatedly booted out of the system. The numbers are down of the percentage of people getting vaccinated in this age group because you can't get through. Several viewers wrote CHCH or posted online to express their frustration with the booking system. This person was advised to book a vaccine in St. Catharines. This person was told there were no appointments left in Hamilton for March or April. First time I've heard they're having a problem over in Hamilton. I know we booked well in excess of 190,000 appointments in one day yesterday. Provincial officials didn't seem aware until today's media questions, but some viewers reported getting appointments by the end of the day. There have been a few small glitches in some of the online booking system. By the time I asked the team about it, they had already started working to find out what in the coding was causing the problem and have it will have it fixed by the end of the day today. More Pfizer and Moderna doses will be delivered to health units this week. There are no updates on deliveries for AstraZeneca or the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Very, very grateful and very lucky to have had the vaccine uh, for this um, COVID. You know, a lot of people are missing the big picture that we could still be scrambling around without a vaccine. So that's a light at the end of the tunnel. The province announced today that $3.7 million will be set aside in this week's budget to help people with mobility issues with transportation to vaccination sites. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.